You're watching a one hour long coding tutorial, you follow along and type with the instructor, but by the time you're done watching the video, you feel like you've learned nothing. This is a massive issue, even for people who aren't complete beginners to building software. I think a great tutorial is one of the best ways for you to learn and grow as a software engineer. The main problem is that people can watch the same video, but get significantly different results from it. How is this possible? This is because many people are watching coding tutorials the wrong way. This video is going to help you understand how to watch coding tutorials effectively and why you should watch long form coding content. Let's discuss watching coding tutorials effectively. To create a framework for understanding coding tutorials, ask yourself these three questions. What did you learn that was new? What did you understand? And what did you not understand? So let's say we watch this video on building an image gallery with Superbase storage. We can review our learnings by asking the previous questions. What did you learn that was new? I learned Superbase storage. What did you understand? Well, I've already known about Superbase authentication and I also already knew about React. What did you not understand? Well, let's say I didn't really know about row level security and I didn't really know about these Superbase bucket folders. So this is valuable information for us to learn more as software engineers. We can now look up what we didn't understand to learn more about these specific parts of the tutorial. If you use this strategy on all the content you consume, you're going to go from a noob to a pro. As you apply this strategy to more videos and more content, you will start to see patterns in the content you consume and you'll be able to check for these patterns. This can help you understand where your real problems are when learning software development. For example, do you consistently find that you don't understand how React components work and you're just copying someone else's code? Or maybe you just don't understand how use state works and you just copy what the person's doing. These are great opportunities to enable learning in your own software engineering journey. Now here's a big question. Why should you watch long form coding content? If you've watched commentary related content in the coding world on YouTube, you've probably heard the tired old video of a senior engineer telling you the only way to escape tutorials is to just read docs and build a project, bro. Listen, there's a lot of truth to this statement, which I will discuss, but there's also a complete lack of empathy for people new to software development or even at an intermediate level. I remember when I was first learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, no frameworks, just the basics. I remember being confused why my JavaScript scripts would show up in the console. Like, how does that work? Why is JavaScript working in the browser? And can I just write any programming language? As a beginner, you are so scattered, especially if you're desperately trying to figure something out. This is where I think coding tutorials are peak when it comes to learning software engineering. You get the perspective of someone solving a problem and can help align your own process to someone more experienced. The senior engineer is right when he says you should build a project and read documentation. Being able to research on your own and solve your own problems is incredibly beneficial to learning as a software engineer. But doing all this alongside a solid mentor such as a YouTuber is also incredibly beneficial. It really just gives you another perspective. Hopefully this video was helpful in understanding how you may want to change your usage of coding tutorials or just watch coding tutorials more effectively. Thanks for watching.